Costs are increasing every day and it is putting a strain on small business owners. KSBY News reporter Delaney White spoke with a local distillery owner who broke down the price increases they're facing and the event be even bigger impacts rather it could have in the coming months. Delaney? Good evening, Nina. Small businesses are the first to feel the pain from inflation. And as the price of goods they use in their products starts to increase, so does the ticket price for customers. And some of the businesses I spoke to say they're going to be forced to raise their prices once again. The price of goods is increasing rapidly, forcing a local distillery to hike up prices for the second time this year. Small business owners are the canaries in a coal mine. Suppliers are warning of cost increases once again. And we're feeling the inflation um, a lot sooner that, than they are feeling it. And, and when they do feel it, unfortunately, we don't have a choice. A bottle of gin like this one now costs 20% more to produce, making a drink like this one even more expensive. So the molasses that I use to make my rum is 30% higher than it was year over year. Uh, the sugar I use to make my liqueurs is 20% higher than it was year over year. Um, bottles are costing me 30% more. Community members are noticing the price of everything is going up. Well, going out to eat, you know, prices have definitely gone up. Um, I think cost of goods have gone up as a whole. Oh, horrendous. I mean, anywhere from 20 to 40% of items we buy every day. Customers say to make up for the high prices, they're going out less often, worrying small business owners. We're the only gluten-free bakery in San Luis Obispo County. Debbie Wicks owns Bless Your Heart Baking in Paso Robles and says she worries about being able to stay open and cater to customers with dietary restrictions as prices continue to soar. I worry about my employees. I worry about the longevity of my business. I worry about being here next year. From flour and eggs to bags, Wick says the price of everything they buy has increased, forcing them to pass the costs on to customers. We won't be able to withstand it. I mean, I just had to price my uh, bags because the cost is so high, and that's the actual cost. Berg tells me these price increases can be tied back to the rising cost of gas and delivery cost increases. Reporting live in Paso Robles, Delaney White, KSBY News. Delaney, thank you. Well, small business owners tell us while they do not want to increase prices, they have no choice in order to keep up with inflation.